Yo, que onda mi familia? I am back with a new tutorial and I know it's been a while, man. It's, I know it's been a while, maybe about a year or so. But, you know, just, just gonna bring you a quick, easy tutorial. This is just one of them questions I usually get. Hey, uh, hey bro, how do you change your pencil art instead of by gray, making them blue? So this tutorial is gonna be called how to add color to pencil art because since it's in gray it's not really color i don't know this is just like that typical color color artist rule i don't know like usually some say gray is you know a color some say no gray is not a color but i, I don't know i don't want to i don't want to get into that debate but anyways what you want to do is have photoshop open because this is the only way i know how to do it on photoshop i'm pretty sure you could do it with any other program out there but there's only one i know right now so you, you just want to go to file you go to open and look for that artwork you're looking for, that pencil art. Now this pencil art is 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 done by uh, Jimbo Salgado. That dude is beast. <clears throat> but anyways, it could be a professional's pencil art or your pencil art or your friend's pencil art, whatever. But this is just a stage where you're about to ink it. Because most inkers these days they they don't work with the, with a gray image, uh, with, with a gray uh, line art, they change it to blue. <clears throat> well, you could use any color you want, it could be a purple, whatever, but I recommend blue. But this is what you want to do right now. All right, since it's in gray, let's change it to blue. Now, what you want to do is you go to channels. Once you go to channels, it's going to be in RGB. Now, some images may be in, in grayscale, or I think it's called CMYK, whatever, but if it's if it's on grayscale don't worry let's see uh, you go to mode grayscale discard all right <clears throat> let's say if you open your image and then you go to channels and all of a sudden you see gray you're like what the hell how come it doesn't say rgb well it's simple just go to image go to mode and go to rgb color and then boom there you go you get your layers the red green and blue now he, uh, I learned this technique from a friend of mine back in art college like two three years ago he explained he explained it to me in details like how it like how it works but I forgot him but just follow these simple steps okay they're, they're very simple it's just like three yeah like three steps or four steps it's easy just just pay attention don't worry <clears throat> I'm, I'm gonna be explaining it now what you want to do first is click hold and drag the, the the blue layer and and send it down right here where where you uh, duplicate that layer now you have a blue copy layer scroll a little bit up now click on the RGB just click it now what happens is it's gonna select the original layers not the copy one the blue one now what you wanna do right here right now is you wanna hold shift this is just a shortcut key okay okay now this is the second step right this this uh the second step so hold shift and then five that's just the easy uh the easy uh what's it called easy shortcut so what did what shift f5 means is you go to edit and you go to fill as you can see shift f5 it's for fill so what's gonna do is make sure you gotta if it's on black or great keep it on white okay stay on white mode 100 uh normal and then opacity 100 percent okay Click OK. Now it select it fill all those layers that, that were selected in blue are now filled in white. Okay, so here comes step number three. Okay, just click once on the blue, click it. Okay, just click it. Now, now this layer is selected. Okay, what you want to do right now is if you have a Mac, you're gonna hold down Command. Okay, the the Command key for for the PC. Hold the Control key. And look at the little finger. It's just you know it's just pointing with with his uh index finger and it's thumb. Now, when you hold the control key, you're gonna see like a little square pop like on top of it, like a little square. Once you see that, just click once. Okay, make sure you click it on the square on the image. Now it's gonna be selected. <clears throat> so that's step number three. Okay, here comes the last step for you know for the channels. What you wanna do right now is since it's selected, uh, inverted. I'm pretty sure it's inverted. 
no you gotta invert it so right now it's just selecting the the outside which is the white okay it's only selecting the white what you want to do is hold control shift and then click I now it's selecting the gray so what that does you go to edit wait 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 invert invert I'm sorry about that because I'm, I'm already used to these shortcuts and so I don't really know where oh here it is it's on select see it's shift control and I so we invert it okay <laughs> yeah because I, I, I never do the select no more I do everything by shortcut so that's why when, whenever I do my pencil in blue everything I do is nothing but shortcuts I rarely use these up here these options because I already memorized the, the shortcut keys same thing right here. I rememorize these the the tools. I rememorize the the shortcuts. Okay, now since the blue is, I mean the the gray is selected, the the actual pencil uh work. What you want to do right now is go to layers and then make a new layer. Okay, make a new layer. As you can see, it's still it, now it's selecting the it's still selecting the it's still it's it's, it's still selected. Okay, I don't I don't want you to think the the select area already faded away, which it hasn't. Now the next step is uh, on your keyboard. Uh, here's another quick tip: just um, you know, hit the 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 G key, the G, the letter G, and then you're gonna get the the paint bucket tool. Now right here, since I have it on on painting the uh, workspace, you, you're gonna see the the color palettes right here. So what I do, I ch I choose the uh, this blue right here, which is the uh, the pure cyan. You just click it and then boom's gonna change and then just just click on the on the selected area and then boom there you go it's already in, in you know in blue so what you want to do is hold control and then press D or you could just go to edit now you go to select and what that does is D, it deselects it okay control D <clears throat> and there you go that's how you start a that's that's the first stage before you start inking it for those who want to start inking or or have problems like trying to make the pencil art blue or any other color you can do it with any color you, you like but I recommend blue lines are easier to read so here there you go and after that once that's done just go to file save as and then make sure you go to save as JPEG and then just save it and then there you go you could either print it out if you were if you're a traditional artist that does it in nibs, paint uh in brushes or <clears throat> or my uh you know markers. But if you're like me a a digital uh inker, it's easy. All you gotta do is just just save it as a JPEG and after that uh, I mainly use paint tool side of ink, so I just open it on paint tool side and then boom, I just start inking and then from right there, bam, I'm done. So yeah, people, this is just a quick, easy tutorial that I was, you know, that I've been getting a lot of mail from, like in the past, like past month or two, that how to change your, how to change the, the pencil art to blue or any other color. So here you go. Now my next, I have another tutorial coming out right now, and it's going to be about, I pretty much made one already, but you know, but anyways, I don't, I'm going to start randomly. Thank you for watching, and then hopefully this finally answers your question okay because I know I like it's real easy but I took my time to explain it I'm done rambling so hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial and thank you for watching peace out I lost watch